Hi, this is a G4FA engine. I'm going to show you where the uh, coolant temperature sensor is, uh, ECT sensor. Um, it's quite easy to find on this car. Uh, if you look where the um, um, radiator hose is there and the radiator cap, follow the hose uh, back um, towards the back of the car and follow it all the way along and you'll see the um, coolant um, thermostat housing where the, where the sensor is located onto the top there. Um, it's a grey connector uh, there, it has two wires on, on that connector and uh, you can see um, where it's screwed there to the thermostat um, housing. Uh, if we go to the top there, you see the, um, the colours of the wires, the two wires. Uh, the one on the left there is pink and the one on the, the far side is grey. And the one there is a space in the middle for a third wire but it's unused, there's no, uh, no wire in the centre center of the um, connector there, uh, it's unused. Um, so I'll try and get in a bit closer, show you a little bit closer there and I'll, I'll remove the connector and we'll do a quick uh, resistance test on, on the actual centre itself to show you what you get um, when the engine is at, um, well, around about 17 degrees currently. Um, so there you go, a little bit more of a close up there of the um, sensor on the um, housing there. Um, it's, it's quite easy to remove this um, uh, connector. Uh, all you do is you press, press on the clip at the top and uh, where the, um, you see right at the bottom, um, what it does, it'll release it from there. So there you go, you hear that click and then you just pull it up and that's it. You can see there how it slots in and what you're doing by pressing on on the top there. Um, so I'll show you the, um, let's move the firing out of the way. Okay, so that is the connector you see inside there. Uh, the two outer um, uh, pins there, they're the ones that you're using. Um, the two wires there, the pink and the uh, grey. Um, you can te test this by putting uh, your meter across and you should get 5 volts with the ignition on, uh, that's what you should get. Um, okay. Um, so if you look down at the top of the sensor itself, let's see if you can get uh, a bit more light in there. So if you look down at the top of the sensor itself there, it's three pins. Um, the two outside ones is what, what we use, uh, what the car uses. And um, you can see the, the layout of the um, what the top of the, um, the sensor looks like. Um, so that gives you an indication. What I'll do now, the two, two outside pins, I'll put my meter across it and we'll measure the, the resistance um, of that with a, the engine uh, cold and see what we get. Okay, that's an indication to what's normal. So as you can see there, I've just put two um, little crocodile clips there on the two outer pins and we'll see what readings we get on the, the meter. Okay. So there you go, that's the reading we get um, currently with the engine off and the engine cold. 2.7 uh, kilo ohms. Um, so that's just in, in uh, normal air uh, temperature uh, water. It's currently about 20 degrees at the moment so I'm not sure what the water temperature is um, but that's just um, what it's reading uh, 2.7 kilo ohms uh, is the reading uh, currently uh, while the engine's cold of interest I've put the center pin um, to ground and see uh, what we get um, on the centre pin. This is the unused pin, so let's see what we get there. Put it to the battery ground there on resistance, so let's have a look at the meter there. We're getting 0 0.920 kilo ohms, so uh, totally different reading there, aren't we? Um, yeah, so that's the centre pin, which is unused. I'll connect it all back up again and um, that just gives an indication of its position and what readings we're currently getting resistance. When you put your ignition on, if you measure across here, um, you will get uh, 5 volts. And how it works is 
basically the coolant sensor is a thermistor so as the temperature changes its resistance uh, changes and uh, uses a 5 volt reference uh, on there so what will happen is the voltage will, will change on it as the resistance changes um, so that's how it works so I'll put the, um, the connector back on here and show you how that goes back on for people um, that want to know so we just line it up like that put it in and uh, push it down either side and you'll hear it click when it uh, locates there you go do you hear that click so that's um, back on again and uh, back how it was okay hope that's helpful somebody locating their coolant uh, sensor on the Hyundai um, hope it's helpful right I found the part number um, for the coolant sensor which I put in the description um, so basically it's the um, it ends in 38020 so it's, it's that one uh, that's in the car um, but when we look at um, the details on it, it shows you the um, pinouts and we went between pins 1 and 3 so 1 and 3 shows it there and we also went to the middle one which is unused um, so it shows it there to ground and that's what we did with the um, we did a test from pin 2 um, to ground there didn't we so that's just giving a bit of a layout um, of the pins there and the actual um, part number um, it tells you there the size I think it says it's a 19 19 mil um, spanner for it doesn't it there's a picture of it there um, so I hope that's helpful um, to people to understand about their coolant temperature sensor. Right, as you can see from this uh, diagram here, when the engine's um, cold, um, you can see you've got um, a higher high resistance and voltage. Um, as the engine warms up, you have the opposite effect. High temperature, we have a lower resistance and a lower voltage. Um, so that that's what we see um, from the sensor. It's easy to show on a diagram um, how it operates. Hi, right, just thought I'd do a little experiment uh, just to show you how the resistance uh, of a coolant sensor uh, changes with the temperature and um, with um, in ice and within uh, boiling water which I've got here so I've got boiling water here got ice there and currently we're seeing uh, 2.7 um, kilo ohms just um, just as it is out of the water um, so so this is just a little bit of an experiment to just show you how um, a coolant temperature sensor works or is known as ECT um, basically they're a thermistor so the resistance will change with temperature um, so what I'll do now I'll dip it into the uh, ice water and then we'll, we'll closely watch here uh, how it changes um, a little experiment here so you can see there the resistance is increasing as the temperature decreases so lower the temperature higher the resistance Okay, that's how a thermistor works. Um, so you see it going up there. You're getting up to three and three thousand, three and a half, three point five kilo kilo ohms, uh, three point six. And uh, you see that. It's, I keep watching it now. Let's see what it gets up to. Quite interesting. Let's see what temperature we get to. And it cools. Four kilo ohms. Obviously, I think I'm only going to get down to zero degrees in the water. I'm not going to get down to minus 40 or anything. I've not got any liquid nitrogen with me. Um, but you know, um, as we can see there, 4.1. Okay. 4.2. That seems to be slowing down a bit now. Four 
4.2 kilo ohms. And that'll be at um, zero degrees. So we'll do the opposite now. We'll take it out and uh, we've got some boiling water. Uh, obviously it has um, cooled slightly uh, while we've been doing this but it's just off the boil. Um, so we'll put it in there and then we'll watch, um, we'll watch the opposite effect happen. So there we are, we're in um, off the boil water there. Go back to the meter. So as the temperature increases, the resistance decreases. It's going down quite rapid there, isn't it? And then I think the crocodile clips are coming off. And it's going down. So we should be into the ohms in a minute. Can switch to ohms, there we go. 900 ohms. Or 0.9 of a kilo ohm. Could switch range in a minute. And we're still in the, the boiling water here, still going down. So we're at 0.7. So we're basically getting on for 600 ohms now. Let's see if we can change the range on here. Let's see if we can hit the button here. No, that seems to. Yeah, a bit better the light on, isn't it? A little bit. So we're down to 0 0.6 kilo ohms, that's 600 ohms. That's probably at 90, 90 degrees, isn't it? It's probably less than boiling point. So as you can see there, um, what happens with the temperature and the resistance changes there. That's how a thermistor works, um, engine coolant sensor.